So usually I make something because I need it. Like my kid needs a bed, so I make a bed, or I need a side table, so I'll make a side table. But for this one, as silly as it sounds, I've always wanted to make a fancy folding chair. So that's what I'm making today. And the only thing fancy about this chair really is the fact that it's made out of walnut. The design itself is kind of simple. There's a front frame and a back frame with a channel routed out and then a seat assembly that rides in said channel. So the first thing to do is to lay out your wood and cut them up into the dimensions that you need. I like to leave these boards a few inches larger than their final dimension at this point so that if I have any snipe from my planer, I have room to cut it off. All these boards will end up being three quarters of an inch thick, except for the seat slats, those end up being about a half an inch. So now that I've got all the pieces nice and flat, square and labeled, I can start working on the front frame assembly. Here I'm marking out and drilling the location of a threaded insert which will end up accepting a bolt through the seat side rail and act as the pivot point for folding the chair up. Next, I'll work on the back frame. This one's a little trickier because it requires a routed out channel that will end up accepting a half inch aluminum U-channel. This U-channel will act as a guide for the peg that will eventually be installed in the seat side rail. Again, helping this thing fold up. Clamping both boards back to back ensures that when you route one board, then flip the router to the other side, both routed out channels will end up being identical. So remember how I said that we're using half inch U-channel? Well, I didn't realize that that was the inside dimension, not the outside to outside dimension. No biggie, a slight adjustment to the guide and a couple quick passes solves the problem. Now I can lay out the front and back frame pieces, how they're going to go, and mark where I'll cut the vortices with the domino machine. Dowels could work here, or even pocket screws would be fine. After the mortises are cut, we're ready for our first glue up. While I wait for those to dry, I can start working on the seat assembly. I'll show you the parts using a seat that I made as a prototype earlier. So what we've got are two side rails and three supports. The supports need a slight curve I'll cut out at the bandsaw. And then finally I'll attach the seat slats with pin nails and glue. I always like to do a dry fit with the tenons installed before I apply glue, just to make sure that all the faces end up flush. But sometimes it's a real pain getting them out. Like, a real pain. Now 
Now I can work on making and installing this pin that will ride in that U channel. I racked my brain trying to figure out the best way to make a pin that rides smoothly enough. After a lot of trial and error and staring at the little bins in the hardware store, this is the best I came up with. It's two quarter twenty nylon nuts threaded onto a chunk of threaded rod. To get rid of the corners, I chuck it in my drill press and sand, going up the grits until the nylon was smooth and fit nicely into the channel. Now on to the seat slats. After giving all the top edges a quarter inch round over on my router table, they're ready to be nailed down. Oh, but before you nail it down, make sure you sand everything because it's going to be hard to sand between all the cracks of the chair slats afterwards. Then the seat assembly is finished. So this is where the front frame and the back frame get connected with the hinge. I want this chair to fold up as tightly as possible for storage, so I route small coves to accept the hinge knuckle. Oh yeah, we're on the home stretch now. All we have to do is clean off the edges so they're not so sharp. Sand everything to 220, and we're ready for the finish. Three coats of armor seal, sanding between with some fine steel wool, gives it a nice finish. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you want to see more videos like this, like and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Later.